Hi, everyone. Uh, we are now into, uh, let's say it's the 9th of April. So I wanted to give an update on where we were with government support programs for businesses, um, which of course helps individuals. Um, I hadn't posted for a few days on this as there, are, well, I know there've been some announcements. There are still lots of, um, of the details that have to be worked out on this. So I just wanted to give an update on, on three of the areas. So the first is the emergency response benefit. Um, this is the, the $2,000 a month that is available if you are no longer working uh, because of uh, COVID-19 in that you've been you've gotten sick, you're taking care of someone that's sick, your business has been shut down, or that is your employer, uh, whether or not that you're entitled to EI. So that's $2,000 a month. Uh, the payments started coming through the day before yesterday for people that applied immediately. There has been some concern that... Uh, that, that there's been an overpayment. I, I'm hearing from people is that it's a mistake that uh, they've deposited twice um, and do I have to give that money back? Uh, the information that I've received from Revenue Canada is that in some cases it's a, it's a retroactive payment uh, combined with an advance payment depending on when your date of application uh, applied. So there's, if you're in this situation, it's $2,000 for four months, uh, regardless of when you actually receive it. So there may be some, some payments that come through at an unexpected time. But if you got more money in your bank account than, than you were expecting, it is not an error on Revenue Canada's part. At least that's what we're to understand right now, and you don't have to give it back. Uh, I always encourage people to save anyway. So just because you got the money doesn't mean that you have to spend it. Uh, and many clients that I'm talking to these days are finding that they're actually saving money uh, because nobody's going out. We're not uh, going to restaurants and uh, getting drinks after work. Uh, there's nothing open and there's nothing to buy. So um, hopefully you're in a position like this and uh, are able to save. If you don't know where you should be saving your money, I'm happy to be a resource to so you can reach out. The next thing I want to talk about is the emergency business account. So this is um, credit uh, that is being backed by the federal government for businesses to be able to uh, to take a loan to help them get through uh, this period of time. So it's up to $40,000 uh, that is available. And uh, you do have to demonstrate between Five to fifty thousand dollars of payroll in 2019, and up to a million. So it really is for the the small business. Uh, it is not intended, at least at this point, to be for a uh, for solo entrepreneurs like myself that don't have payroll. Um, so you know, we are expecting that there may be some opportunities there for assistance if your business is down. But this is for a business that can show at least fifty thousand dollars of payroll in 2019. You can apply through your financial institution for a interest-free loan up to forty thousand dollars, and uh, ten thousand dollars of that is forgivable if you pay back the thirty thousand dollars. And and there were there was some talk initially that that was by December of this year. It is not. It is December thirty-first of twenty twenty-two. So you're going to have two years uh, and six months of ability to to use the money to, to save it, to reinvest it in your business, to use it to hire people, to retool, to find a new avenue of, of um, opportunity, uh, and then pay that back. So it's $40,000. It's not, you don't apply with the government. You go to your current financial institution who you already do your banking with. Uh, I don't expect that many are available yet. Uh, I reached out to, to my bank earlier today to see uh, what the situation was. I, I expect that it'll still be another week or so before they're prepared for that type of, of uh, program. So that's the um, that's the emergency business account. There is an additional uh, credit that's available um, through an, another business emergency. Um, that one still has some some details to be worked out. I'll give you some details, uh, give an overview next week once I know a little bit more about it as well. And then the last one, this was announced yesterday, and, and this one I, I think is, is really uh, applicable to a lot of business owners. This is the Summer Jobs Program. Um, that's, it's been there for a number of years to help businesses or encourage businesses to hire students and youth over their summertime period so that they can uh, make money uh, and save for school. 
Uh, so this one has been adapted so that uh, if you hire a student starting after May 11th, uh, that the federal government is going to subsidize up to 100% of the minimum wage in your province. So uh, wherever you are, whatever that is, um, then if you choose to pay on top of that, you certainly can. But essentially, it's the it's the government finding a way to uh, be able to provide income for students. They can work in your business and uh, they will cover the um, the minimum wage. Um, there is also in the past, it's been a little restrictive in, in what it was you could hire a student to do. Um, they are allowing you to be able to adapt uh, or special projects um, or part time. So if you don't have enough work for a, a student, you can have them on part time, have the same benefit. If you are looking to um, change your business somehow and, and want to hire for a special project, uh, they, it's available to you as well. And in the past, the program has ended at the end of the summer. This year, it's going to extend until February of 2021. So we have an expectation that the there may not students may not have been able to save enough for them to to resume normal. Uh, education at the end of the summer so you can continue to keep a student on until February of next year. So that is the summer jobs program. So that is available. Um, I'll put a link here on the website so that you can see what that is on the CRA website. Um, or you can just go directly to CRA. It's very simple or through the West Shore Chamber of Commerce on our COVID response page for all the support there. So uh, those are the updates on, on three of the, uh, three of the programs. The emergency response benefit, the emergency business account, and the student summer jobs program. So, if you do have any questions, please contact me. I really appreciate hearing from everyone. And uh, or if there's something specific you'd like me to talk about next week, I'm happy to do that too. So, everybody stay home, stay busy, stay active. Uh, we'll get through this.